Hi everyone, so today we are going to look at five different ways that we can make bow pin or safety pin embellishments that we can use in our junk journals. So stay tuned and I'll walk you through how I made each of these five different embellishments. Hi everyone, it's Karen and we are here with day number 11 of the 12 days of junk journal gift idea tutorials for 2019. So today what we're going to be looking at are bulb pin and safety pin embellishments. So I'm going to make a handful of different um, a handful of different embellishments and I'm going to use these little bulb pins and I'm also going to use just regular safety pins. I'm going to see if I can fish out a couple. How on earth did I give them to these? Okay, first I'm going to have to dump all of them out to get the couple big ones I want. Oy, oy, oy. No, not this one. Okay. See the ones I'm using are just going to be just the regular, regular safety pins. And there's all sorts of things we can do with these. We can use scraps of fabric, we can use scraps of lace, we can use different kinds of beads or buttons. I have a whole container here of all kinds of buttons that I buttons and beads that I pulled off a few old sweaters and shirts that I wanted to I they were the shirts were no good and I just wanted to to salvage all the buttons from them. So I've got some really fun really fun buttons here. That's there we go, not focused. So we might use some of these. I also have a bunch of different embellishments. Most of these have come from AliExpress, so little little charms. I'm not sure which ones we want to use yet. Uh, these won't work. So I have these little lobster claws. I might might use some of those. I have teeny tiny little jump rings. I have a whole bunch of different charms. There's a whole variety of them, so I'll probably use some of that. And then I also have some other jump rings that are a fair bit larger. So we're going to use some of these as well. So a whole, a whole collection of things are going to be used on this project. Well, we could probably also use ribbon would work out fantastic as well. Let's just pull out a bunch of goodies here. Got a bunch of little scraps from one of my earlier tutorials. Where'd the rest of those little guys go? This is another little one. also want to use some lace. What other ones? What do we have in here that would be good? Oops. 
This one might be fun. It has beads on it. For these, I think I prefer the small, well, small and narrow pieces of lace. That's just one pile of lace I have. And I also have some of these cards of lace. I like this one. I think I'll use some of I think I'll use some of this. Most of these are probably too wide. Uh, maybe we'll use some of the black lace. I like this one. I also like, oops, that's not even from, that's from here. I really like this one. Any of these that are a little bit narrower will work really nicely. Ooh, this one will be good. So what we'll want to do is just take a few of these pieces. I think what I want to do with this one, maybe. Maybe I'll use this one. Maybe a little, well, maybe not too bad. I just want to snip a few pieces here and there. use two pieces of this one. Where's the end? There's the end. Let's grab a couple pieces of this. I have them about the same same length. Where's the end of this one? Has to be an end somewhere. There it is. Oi, I made that hard to get to. What I want to do with a couple of these So I want to 
attach this on here. We will attach one of these pieces of lace. I think this fabric is too wide. Let's try with a piece of this ribbon instead. too much. Those teeny little jump rings. There it is. Anybody see where that went? There he is. I think these jump rings are a little bit too tiny, but this is what I have on hand. There we go. Pop it open. Close that one up. Let's take out another jump ring. What I wished I had, and I don't have right now, is I wished I had a little piece of chain. I don't have any, so that's not going to work for me. So we'll take one of these little lobster clasps. Open this up. Attach it to our cat. Attach it to the end here. Hold on to it with my pudgy little finger and then close it back up again. And then we have a cute little cute little dangle. And let's just attach it part way down here. So you got a little kitty cat hiding in here. Size jump rings. That's not going to work. Actually, what we do here is I want to. Okay. 
glue doesn't come out, doesn't come out, doesn't come out, and then all of a sudden we got a pile of glue. Oh, I got a volcano happening here. First time, ugh, first time you've done that to me. So here we have a quick little embellished safety pin and glue all over my fingers. I have this, this little piece of twine. What I'm going to do is separate it out. I'm going to use some of these little beads. I think I might have to take this to a single or at least two little strands. Tie a little knot at the end. Don't pull too tight and break the thread. Let's just thread a few. we're threading a needle here. So it'd probably be a lot easier if I had a needle to thread these, but I don't. Or even a little wire. So let's put a little charm on here. And these cute little heart charms.
take this and then we can just simply tie it on to our little bulb pin. Seriously, I think I'm working with three thumbs today. You can add more beads on here if you would like. And why don't we add a small piece of this black lace on here. can also do to try to stabilize this is let's just glue on a little button so it doesn't seem to want to stay in place add a little bit of more glue hot glue gun might work better but mine's not heated up or ready or anything so let's just attach there we go. I like that one. If it stays. That one turned out kind of cute. Where's the other one? Oh, I thought I lost him. Second one. Let's look at another idea. like to do with this one what looks good behind I like this so I do need to make that a little bit So I just kind of want to start off by making a little tag to hang down here. And we can shorten this up afterwards. And you don't have to worry if you've cut crooked, clearly, because I cut crooked. And then just to keep it relatively simple, I have this gorgeous lace. I love this lace that we're just going to tack down on here. Okay, put him aside.
So the light's really poor here today. It's a dreary, overcast, rainy day. Perfect day to be inside crafting. Wait till the hubby gets home from his meetings today and we'll go out for supper. So there you go. If you want to embellish this a little bit more, you can. You'll want to let it just sit. Give it. Be patient. Not like I. Not like me. I'm not always a patient person. Try to be patient. Let it sit there and let the glue dry nicely. And then you'll be able to pin that onto something. So there's another one. What else can we do with this last, with this last guy? trying to pick up a few little elements that I like. I'm not sure if this will work. It actually might. Let's just trim this guy down. Maybe add a few, yeah, let's add a few beads, or not beads, these are buttons. I want to put a little embellishment of some sort on here. Put that aside so I don't knock it over. And back there. There's something a little bit smaller, maybe. Put a little teddy bear. Kitty cat on the other one. I like this one also. I 
do one more. Because I really do like this little cat. Or do I like this one better? I really do need to get larger, larger jump rings. So we'll end up when we're all done here, we should have, yeah, I should have five of these put together. I'm hoping I'm in frame most of this time. Here we can just pop that through. So we have another very simple decoration. And the last one we want to do, let's try one of these larger jump rings. I'm not quite sure. I just want to check and see if this will work. Because this, if it does, that's about the simplest thing <laughs> you can do. I think I prefer it on the smaller jump ring. What do you think? Smaller jump rings, yes? Yeah. Well, oh, it's a little too big. I need to find the happy medium between between that size and this itty bitty teeny little thing. Seriously testing my manual dexterity today. Oh, this kitty cat's double sided. I didn't realize that. do with this one is we'll just oops we'll just run that through through there so there we have 
a very simple little little decoration. Alrighty, so how about we try to get this desk cleaned off a little bit. So there we have it, five possible ways to make our little uh, bulb, bulb pin or safety pin embellishments. So they're all relatively quick and easy, you use scraps of fabric, scraps of lace, ribbon, a few little simple jewelry making supplies or little charms that you might pick up that I know you can get them at any kind of like a Joann's, Michael's, Hobby Lobby, those type of stores. They'll all have a lot of these different things. Each of these I actually bought on AliExpress, but they're available at other places. If you have buttons, beads that you might have um, retrieved from a garment that's no longer usable, all kinds of options, all kinds of options. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you got some ideas. I hope you're able to incorporate some of these, some of these things into some of your own junk journal plans. So thanks for watching. Take care everyone and I'll see you tomorrow for the last day.